Support for this episode comes from Leopoldi's Hardware, the one-stop shop for any of you looking to get that dead body off your hands. Whether it's shovels, saws, or tubs of light, Leopoldi's guarantees they'll have what you need, even if it seems like you're doing something really terrible. Who's your pick? Hottest female serial killer ever. That's a tough call. Mm -hmm. Kristen Gilbert had that whole boring thing going on that's kind of hot, but Myra Henley had great style. She did. She really did. My vote is for Josephine the Clipper Walker. Great bone structure, into personal hygiene, highly intelligent. Sounds like me. Highly intelligent. Cool, so I'm gonna go out on a limb, as they say, and put my money on Countess Bathory, even though it's really hard to tell what she looks like. Well, you've always been into mystery. And yet I dated you. And it looks like our listeners agree with me once again. The crown goes to the clipper with bad professor Lila Childs sliding into a sultry second and Fashion Week's Myra Henley making the bronze. Join us next week as we put our two cents into the healthcare debate with our episode that takes on the nurse curse. We'll talk about why so many lady killers had double lives as caretakers. I'm Morgan. I'm Jean. And we are... Women Women Who Who Kill. Kill. In 300 feet, take a left on Roebling Correctional Facility Road. Why didn't you tell me I had kale in my teeth? I thought it was that tooth. What tooth? You know, the one that gets sort of gray. Oh my god. What? Why do you care what you look like anyway? It's a prison. Don't make me feel bad about trying to look presentable. I'm not. I just don't think Lila's gonna care what you look like. (sighs) Great. Rub it in. We both know she's gonna respond more to you. What's that supposed to mean? You've seen the victim's photos. I mean, they all look like... Lesbians. Wait, are you saying I look like... No, just... never mind. Can I help you? Morgan Hall for Lila Childs. Are you together? We're exes. She means we're here together. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the kale in your teeth. I didn't want to embarrass you. No, you didn't want to embarrass you. They're your teeth. Your comfort trumps my discomfort, as always. Nobody even saw the kale in your teeth, so you couldn't have any discomfort. I need to touch your bra, ma'am. Did you already touch hers? I'm just saying you should explore your vulnerability issues because usually they're at my expense. Maybe my vulnerability issues stem out of the fact that you're not comfortable with me being vulnerable. Well, you trick people with your boyishness. I can't help that I can lift semi-heavy things. Oh shit, how do I look? You look beautiful, how do I look? You have something in your teeth. Morgan. No contact, please. Can't tell a dyke from a debutante these days, can you? And she's bisexual. What? You are. And I don't say it out loud. Uh, uh, do you mind if we record? You can do anything you want. You remind me of someone. So, so we should get started. For each episode, we interview a, a female murderer to get her side of things. Who else have you interviewed? 
we got a chance to speak with Josephine Walker right before she died. Oh, she's the one who clipped the lady's nails right before she stabbed them in the heart. She was good. A little heavy on the methodology, but I respect her conviction. We also had a, a great chat, actually, with Debbie Kane. Oh, there's an overrated cunt. <laughs> she had a higher victim count than you do. Sweetheart, if I was going for quantity over quality, I would have taught at community college. Debbie is one of the most notorious female serial killers who ever lived. I went to community college. Debbie is an entitled slut who stole a bunch of babies and tossed them in the trunk of her Volvo. All you have to do nowadays to go down in history is rely on the mediocrity of shock value. You killed 12 of your students and used their bodies as fertilizer on the azaleas in your greenhouse. You don't call that shock value? Oh, honey, no. I call that love. Please don't make me go to a strip club. You're already making me wear tux. It's my bachelor party and you're my best dyke. When have you ever known me to wear a suit? Then wear a dress. Go to the bachelorette party. Talk about midwives and shit. I don't want to wear a dress. I just want to wear something that's not a suit. This one advertises sports steaks and pussy. Perfect. Speaking of pussy, how's Jean? One comment says slutty bitches everywhere. You think that's good or bad? It's good. Have you guys slept together again? Alex, please stop bugging me about Jean, OK? We're not getting back together. Can I say one thing? No. Enemy within, dude. Self-sabotage, undermine shit. That's three things. I'm just saying, Jean's good for you, you are good for her. Well, I want something more than just being good for someone. Well, that's all there is. Love isn't romance, it's survival. Survival is depressing. But not if you're dying, technically. Well, technically, this isn't your conversation. Oh, shit. What? I gotta go. I have to be early for my co-op shift. Seriously, I'm losing out to a grocery store. They have really great produce. Oh, come on, what about my bachelor party? I'll book the steak and pussy club, OK? Bye. orientation of Samantha supposedly in labor. But I have a new member. Yeah, I'll take her. I've never done an orientation before. Morgan, I really need you to be with me on this one, okay? Great. Oh, make sure they know that the Earth machine was finally approved for the goddamn Durban farm. Which nobody goes into without a hard hat. Hi. Each of you should sign up for your shift. Um, each of you should sign up for your shift after this meeting by filling out a form from the red binder. Remember, you are required to volunteer three hours every four weeks to be a member. If you miss one shift, you are required to make up two. Um, this concludes our orientation. I would like to officially congratulate you on being a new member of the Green Hill Food Cooperative. Happy food, happy people. Thanks. I'd like to sign up for a shift. Oh. Um, you're supposed to go to an orientation first. Well, you saw me there, didn't you? Yeah, but you're required to stay through the whole thing. Mm. Morgan, right? I'm Simone. Do you mind if I take a look? No one will know. 
problem. But... Oh, there's a spot left for right here. It's your shift. We can work together. Don't let me get you in trouble. Okay, just hurry. Now you know how to reach me. Tell us about the unicorn that you bought a few days before the murder. You had it inscribed with a date and the names of your children. Was it a memorial? No. It was a way of me just saying, hey, this is our new start on life. A unicorn is a type of horse, and a horse is wild, free. In your diary, you refer to heart love. What's that mean? It's the only love that really matters. It isn't sexual. It's deeper than that. But in the letters, I was over-dramatizing. You're always over-dramatizing. You have what's known as a histrionic personality. What? You've never heard the results of your psychological tests? A deviant sociopath. You know what that Do means? Do you think maybe we... Spend too much time together? Do you think we spend too much time together? No, oh, I mean, just maybe we can try to do things separately. That's probably smart, right? Right? Do you want to start now or? No, tomorrow's better for me. Me too. I'll never get over how beautiful this park is. We're so lucky. Uh-huh. I hope the swans are here today. Yeah, I think we should head home and start working. No, no, let's, let's work outside. I brought my computer. You mean sit on the grass? Why not? Just urine. Well, how about over here? You know, just for a little while. Fine. You win. What? I saw that. Jean, I haven't done anything yet. So you're gonna deny you just did that passive aggressive thing with your notebook? You mean take out my anger on my notebook because I'm actually angry at you wanting to work outside? Great, you're mocking me. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. How can you hate swans? I don't hate swans. Would you keep your voice down? Do you know what people in Park Slope would do to a swan hater? So you do hate them? I think they're a little mean and angry. That was one swan. You gave me stitches. Why do you always take the swan side? Because they're animals, and animals are innocent, unlike people who murder and rape. You know what? Animals murder and rape all the time. Did you hear that cat rape last night? It was like somebody was beating a baby really softly. That wasn't cat rape. That was a stray in heat. Well, I felt rape just listening to it. You always change the subject. So what were we talking about? I don't remember. Work. Dog errand. You slamming the notebook. Swans. Like I said, I don't hate them. I'm just a little frightened of them. It looks like somebody took a snake and shoved it into the shoulders of a big white duck. I think we should just work separately today. I, I have more work to do on dismemberment, so. Fine. I'll work on smothering and strangulation. Fine.
Yeah, I'm gonna check her. You got my message. Hey, friend came. Yeah. Hello. If you didn't look just like me, I'd tongue kiss you right now. Who are you? Simone. Someone. Simone. <laughs> ah, cool. Hey, guess who I invited? Yeah! Oh, oh. Hi. Morgan's on a date. Jean, this is... Simone. Jean's uh, Morgan's ex. Like, don't fuck with Jean. I'm Kim. Shh, shh, shh. Hi. Alex! Oh, I'm coming, motherfuckers! Hi, right, Kim, you gotta get beer pong. Did you know Kim uh, holds the beer pong crown? Wow. All-time champ. Probably has something to do with the alcoholism. Mm. <laughs> All right, come on, grab shots. How about a seltzer? Yeah, seltzer's for pussies. Sorry, Alex can become an asshole. I'll try my best not to fuck with you, Jean. Ah, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> so did you guys meet online or? Oh, God, no, no. We met at the co-op. No way. <laughs> You're like a true park slipper. I just moved here a few months ago, actually. Oh, where from? All over. I came back from my mother's funeral and just decided to stick around, tie up some loose ends. Um. Sorry about your mom. Yeah, that sucks. Thanks. We were estranged, so. Morgan, would you come talk to Alex? Because um, she thinks that she's Batman again. Oh, okay. I'll talk to her. Thanks, Jean. Thanks. Um, <clears throat> it was nice meeting you, Simone. Yeah, you too. Just uh, text me if you're not coming okay. Um. <laughs> Sorry about that. No. It's okay. You, uh, you want to take a walk through the park? Oh, right now? Yeah. I mean, we have to be careful. There's probably rapists or gays in the woods. I'll take the rapists if you take the gays. <laughs> oh, come on. You're not scared of the dark, are you? No. Hey, I confess, I'm scared of the dark. It doesn't scare you? Sometimes. That doesn't mean I don't like it. Day is full of clarity, night is just a bunch of nothingness. It's suffocating. Try breathing through it. No, I'm not into that. Breathing? Not the deep kind. I just like to take a bunch of short ones mm -hmm. so I have some safe for later. <laughs> You're slowly killing yourself, you know? It makes me nervous how relaxed you are. I'm not always this way. The city usually makes me crazy after a few weeks. You say you've lived here before? No, I just meant any city. OK, now I have something to confess. What? I know you. You do? Yeah, you show. I'm a fan. Are you sure this is safe? <laughs> no. I like your place. Oh, thanks. Still settling in.
What's in it? Just memories. I meant the drink. I don't want to know what's in the box. Everybody wants to know what's in the box. I don't. I forgot. I thought love was what I felt when those girls were alive, but it was when I had my hands wrapped around their necks. Love was when I had my hands wrapped around their necks. I had a dream that your body turned up in that lake, you know, where the dogs like to play, except it wasn't your head on the body, it was Joaquin Phoenix. He lives in Park Slope now, maybe that's it. I always thought you kind of looked like him. Seriously, I was about to call the police. I thought the police gave you hives. Well, that's why I didn't call them. What's her name again? Simone. Simone what? Ellis, I think. Oh, you don't know her last name and you slept with her? I didn't know your first name and I slept with you. Yes, you did. You just thought it was pronounced Jean. <laughs> Jean, she's not yours to Google. Come, Google with me. I don't want to. It's like the first step in a serious relationship. Seriously, stop. Ooh. Okay. You like her. Don't make fun of me. You're just being sensitive. No, I'm genuinely curious. Well, I don't want to share this, okay? I want something that's mine. Okay. Fine. I won't take any interest in your life. Thank you. Love was when I had my hands wrapped around their necks. Sorry, my hand slipped. Let's go lips! Yeah, lips! Flip those dirty beans till they're clean! Yeah. Yeah. Man, this team's killing it this season. Right. Eye on the ball, Jones! Go, you got this, you got this. Yeah, I got keys. It'll break. Stop fucking her through your phone. It's my crime blotter app, actually. Then actually stop fucking your crime blotter app through your phone. I haven't seen you in months, dude. Girl can clock out a minute. It hasn't been months. I met Simone 49 days ago. Ow. Motherfucker! Way to go. 49 days. What is she, an infant? Nice yeah, T! Come on, T! I mean, she's pretty and shit, but the bitch has secrets. You never even had a real conversation with her. I don't have to. I know her type, and she's the type that's gone in three months. Why is everybody so unhappy for me? I didn't treat you like this when you met Kim. That's right. because when I met Kim, I didn't pretend you didn't exist. Sorry. I just miss you. I'm sorry too. You got it. I'll make more of an effort, okay? Maybe we can all have dinner together. Let's yeah, I'll cook meat. Well, if you could have some vegetarian options. Yeah, let's, yeah! Pound that pussy, ladies! Pound it! Wow, 
you're beautiful. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Do you know what else is beautiful? Um. Compost. Would you smile if I were to tell you that the Earth machine can compost pretty much anything? Oh, there's a smile. All right, but we have to get serious, okay? The, okay. the, the future is dirt, and you have to... Wait. Allison? It's... Allison, it's me, Candace. So you did. I was on the rooftop farm, I slipped. Want to know if we need a stretcher? You're late. You're supposed to be five minutes early. Oh, I think your clock's fast. My phone. Or maybe your clock's just wound a little too tight. Morgan, phones. What? Well, I was supposed to show Simone. I'll show her. Our victim is on the move, heading out to you now. Leaving victim. Copy. Attention, all members. There's been another accident in the urban farm. This is where we keep all the backup files. Everyone who's been a member since 1973 is in here. Seems like a waste of paper. Yeah, well, systems go down, Simone. And when our system goes down and all the information on the computer is lost, guess what's going to save us? Grace's files. You go to the orange tab and take out a file. Hold it. Hold it, please. And you cross-reference it on the iPad. If she's still a member, she goes back into the drawer. But if she's no longer a member, she's inactive, she goes into the shredder. Got it? Focus. I need two volunteers for the super clean shift. I've already fulfilled my super clean requirement. Come on. If I don't get two volunteers in the next hour, I gotta do it myself, and I already opened and closed that day. Sorry, Darren, I can't deep clean at four in the morning. It's just I trust you, Morgan, because you don't break the rules. For example, you wouldn't have stolen anybody's personal information, would you? I was gonna put it back. It's all good. I'll take care of that for you. She's got to fill this out. This is blackmail. It's cool. You can go back to Key Foods if you want to. I'm fine with that. No, no, no. I'm fine. Give me the form. Her too. Simone? Coward. What? Why? I signed us up for a super clean shift. Darren pressured me. You volunteered me too? Well, I had to. I can't let that place own you. Well, what's the alternative? Not to shop there. No, that's not an alternative. Simone! I need to talk to you, Simone Ellis. Grace, we're done. The co-op's closed. No, that's fine. Go ahead. I'll call you later. But I got us tickets to juice my cold-pressed body. Yeah, I'll meet you there.
What happened? Everything okay? Yeah, why? You seemed a little out of it tonight. Oh. What was burning? I think you should move in with me. You don't think it's too soon? I don't think in those terms. What terms? Just terms? It's just everything's so good now, I don't want to force anything. Simone? You know me, don't you? I think so. You do. And I know you, so don't complicate it with all the things you don't know. Okay, let's do it. Really? Yeah. Namaste. I'll see you later. I'm really happy. Me too. Morgan. Morgan. Jeannie. Did you, did you follow up? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry I haven't answered your calls or texts. No, I mean about Grace. What about Grace? Another accident? Jesus, that fucking farm. You saw her that day, right? That was your shift? Your memory is disturbing. Well, we share calendars. Oh, shit, we should fix that. Can I ask you something? Sure. And you have to promise me not to get mad. I cannot promise you that. Why? Because you always make me mad. Okay, fine. Promise that you won't storm out of the room. Jean, just ask me the question. <sighs> okay. All right. Did Simone and Grace get along? No one got along with Grace. I mean, did they argue? What do you... When your shift ended, did you and Simone leave together? Yes. But she... What? She went back in to talk to Grace. But she met me later that night at the art gallery. Simone Ellis isn't Simone Ellis. She changed her name when she was 18. You made a binder? Yeah, when I googled her real name, Allison Walker. Wait, Allison? Yeah, why? Morgan Walker. Listen. March 13th, 2015, 
This is tape two, Josephine, the Clipper Walker interview. Josephine, we started talking about regret. Do you regret anything? I regret what this has done to the people who've survived it. The families of the victims? Their families, my family. You mean your daughter, Allie? She used to be Allie. I don't know what happened to her. When was the last time you saw her? She was 15 when I was arrested. She never came to visit? Why? Why would she? I just hope she's out there somewhere, listening, and that she knows her mother loves her and always will, no matter what. Allison Walker's a common name. Have you noticed anything strange about her besides her personality? No, not really. I and mean, she's private. She's not like you. I'm private. No, you're not. You like to talk and share and pick apart things until they don't exist. Simone doesn't need to do that. Oh, I don't need to. Yes, you do. That's why we didn't work out. We shared too much. There's a lot of things about me you don't know. Oh, really? Like what? Like, my dad once said that he wished I'd never been, been born. I know that. She's not a murderer. I'm not saying she is. I'm just saying I think you should stay here until we're sure she isn't. I'm moving in with her. Morgan, Jesus. What? It's different this time. Yeah. Like, maybe you're falling for the daughter of a serial killer at best. Oh, well, I'd rather be with somebody that scares me to death than somebody that bores me to death. Oh, OK. Fine. Go ahead. Move in with her and get married and have a family that she can stab in the middle of the night. This is a really fucked up way of saying you miss me, Jean. It's not just that I miss you. I am worried that your life is in danger. I'm not in danger, OK? I'm just in love. Oh, my god. You're such a girl. You're such a man. That's hurtful. Dude, what's wrong with you tonight? You're cagey and shit. He's all Alex's? <laughs> yeah. That was awful at sports. What were you good at? School? Mm. I was never good at school. What were you good at? Murder. What? Shh. Jean thinks that Simone could be the daughter of a murderer. Dude. I know, but don't you think Jean's just being controlling? I told you that bitch had secrets. She doesn't. She's just mysterious. You know, mystery is a high dollar secret, dude. Mystery keeps relationships alive. Mm. How would you know what keeps relationships alive? Do you want to see Alex as a baby? Uh, She's adorable. 11 pounds. The doctor said she split her mother wide open. Wow. Alex thinks that's why her mother doesn't like her anymore. <laughs> This is her first softball team. That's Brenda Bayhart. Has she told you about Brenda Bayhart? Wine? Oh, I don't. I don't drink. Um, Brenda Bayhart called Alex a cunt licker. And so Alex knocked her two front teeth out. Mm. And the teeth had just come in. So, you know, permanent damage. Funny, I'd peg Alex as a pushover. She is, but um, she's knocked a lot of teeth out, too. She's from Florida. Mm. A lot of serial killers there. Mm. You're into all that, too, huh? Jean isn't being controlling. She's just looking out for you. And you don't know anything about that girl. I know enough. Why do I have to know everything? Can you name one thing you think is wrong with her? You mean besides the mom issue? Yeah, like an imperfection. Dude, anything. I'm thinking. I'll go first. Kim has dandruff. Gross, I do not need to know. That. Come on. We're all disgusting people. Kim's just the least disgusting person I know. Simone is not disgusting at all, okay? And what about when she takes a dump? Just stop it, Jesus. Oh, uh, this is Alex taking her first. Why'd you quit drinking? Um, it just got out of hand. I'd like to see that. No, you wouldn't. Why? 
Did you hurt someone or something? Mm. No, no, I didn't. You did? I didn't hurt anyone. What? I'm teasing you. I quit drinking because I got tired of waking up in my vomit. I think you and Jean are being paranoid. But if that pretty bitch does anything to hurt you, I'm more than happy to unleash my inner warnups. Okay? Okay. But can you stop calling her a bitch? Who? Simone? I did stand up for you. I'm tired. You don't want to do that in the bathroom? This is where I do it. But your clippings are all over the bed. The night that Grace was murdered, Simone set off the fire alarm because she was burning this. It's what's left of a passport photo, like from an old co-op file before we used webcams. So wait, now you think Simone killed Grace? I think that Grace found out that Simone was Allison, and then Simone got rid of her. And I think if she killed one person, who's to say she hasn't killed six more? You think Simone is the clipper? I think it's possible. But Josephine confessed. They never found a murder weapon. And maybe Josephine's just protecting her daughter. Moms do that. I mean, mine didn't, but... Why are you suddenly so convinced about all of this? Why are you suddenly not? I thought she was the love of your life. She is. I mean, I... I don't know. I've been noticing things about her lately. Tonight I saw a different side of her, and I've been feeling sick ever since. Was it a vulnerable side? What do you mean? You get sick to your stomach when people are needy. I also get sick to my stomach when I fear for my life. Morgan, Simone didn't kill Grace. Jean. 
I called Matt. Crime blogger Matt? There was a suicide note posted to the child care bulletin board. Simone could have written that. Grace had a history of depression. It wasn't the first time she tried. So you don't think she's a murderer? Um, I don't know. I mean, probably not. Why would you put me through this? It wasn't on purpose. I was just, I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing. Shit. So, so I'm so sorry. I just, I had to flush. Well, what were you doing? What is he doing in my bathroom? Oh, uh, hi, I'm Jackson. It's Morgan. Oh. Oh, uh, that's, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Hey, do you, um, do you guys want tea? I, I can make us tea. I'll make us tea. It's my tea kettle. No shit. Well, you know, it's a, a really nice tea kettle. No, I just, I mean, it's mine. Yeah, Jackson, that'd be great. Tea would be, be nice. Okay. You know what, this was a bad idea. Morgan. I shouldn't have even come here. No, don't. Nice to meet you, Jackson. Don't.
wow. Oh, it's so much softer than mine. The good thing about the Flash Gordon series is that if you wear eyeglasses, they don't get foggy during heavy breathing. Oh, well, Alex doesn't wear eyeglasses, but that's really good to know. <laughs> oh, wow, thank you guys so much. This is really sweet. <laughs> oh, Simone has a gift. Oh. The email specifically said nothing realistic. I wasn't on the email. If you had to bring something penetrative, it was supposed to be a neon color. I mean, realism implies that lesbian sex isn't real sex unless there's a penis involved. <laughs> Sparkling cider on the patio. Yay. Yeah. They're all in AA, so they have to make rules for everything. <laughs> Drink. Here, take this. No. You gonna be okay? Everything's about to change. What do you mean? Marriage and shit. Well, you guys have something figured out, you'll be fine. I envy you. Me? Why? You have choices. Well, I wish I didn't have them. Trash can. Trash can. False alarm. You want me to stay? Gross. How's it going with Morgan? Good. Really good. Yeah. How's it going with Jackson? She told you about Jackson? Just that he seemed nice. Mm. <laughs> Morgan hates nice. She does? Mm -hmm. And hair in the drain and eggplant and communicating. I don't think she hates communicating. But she calls it sharing. Well, maybe she just respects privacy. I trust her. It's not that. What is it then? if I can trust myself. Why not? Never been able to make a relationship work. For a while I kept trying one after the other, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I just swore to myself I wouldn't do it again. Not until I was really ready. Ready for what? You know, to expose myself. I shouldn't be talking to you about all this. I'm glad you are. Really? Yeah, sure. I understand my Morgan's having such a hard time letting you go. Oh.
over here. Gene. Morgan. What is what's here? Get the car. What is going on? Damn. Shh. And why are you wearing that? Oh, it's just from the bachelor. It doesn't matter. Look, Simone is a clipper. Morgan, come on. No, look. What is this? Open one. Are those fingernails? Jody, Louise, Kate, Maggie, Teresa. Just in case. You know I'm very against weapons. It's not a weapon, it's gear. It's just a cat, I think. Maybe keep the weapon. No, no way. Jean, that was four years ago. There's no expiration date on PTSD, Morgan. You were really high when you got arrested. Are you saying I'm a liar? I'm not. I'm saying that maybe it wasn't solitary confinement. Maybe it was a holding cell in a jail for an hour. I feel hives. Jean, come on. We don't have any real proof. Fingernails aren't illegal. Fingernails from dead people. Is my neck red? Look at my neck. Okay, the phone's going down. The phone is going down. The phone is down. Who's there? Simone? It's Kim. Is Alex there? No, I dropped her off at your place last night. Well, she wasn't home when I got there, and she never came back. We have to tell you something. Okay, try to stay calm. God, what? Wait, don't tell me. Okay, tell me. Uh, we think she's having another affair, isn't she? Huh? I knew it. She's being so nice to me. No, that's, that's not. Wait, Alex had an affair? Of course. He doesn't have affairs. But she's in love with you. Don't be dumb, Morgan. That's not all there is. Do you think she's having an affair now? I don't know. Okay, because there's a, there's a chance it could be something else. 
Simone could have something to do with it. Simone? Why? Because I broke into her wooden trunk last night. And I stole some fingernails. And because Alex called her a bitch the other night. But it could just, you know, be a um, kidnapping. Or murder. You're both insane. Mm-hmm. I expect this from Morgan, but not from you. Hey, why do you expect it from me? We well, haven't exactly cared about very much other than yourself lately. What do you mean? I took Alex home last night. I took her shoes off in a really sweet way. I can't believe that my fiance has disappeared and all you guys care about are your fucking radio show theories. Podcast. Kim, wait! Shit. We have to find Alex. There she is. case for that. We're too late. What if Alex is already dead? Okay, Morgan, you know what? Calm down. We're gonna find Alex. I should have stayed with her. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. okay. All right. Okay. You know what? Did she see us? Switch with me. I'm gonna drive. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. You're not fine. Hurry. Come on. like that I was just trying well, to that has always been a problem with us you can't let me take control I always let you take control <laughs> not always nope not with driving and not with I didn't know you wanted to take control with that of course I did but you just laid there well I was nervous me too really because you always seem so baby 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 <gasps> holy hell just I'm go. sorry. Just go. Just I'm go. Sorry. Just go. Just go. Just go. Jesus. She's turning. I know. I'm not blind, Morgan. Wait. That's Alex. Wait, wait, wait. Are, are we going to follow Simone? Morgan, that's Alex, your best friend. She's not dead. Right. Yeah. Of course. No, you're right. I know. Where'd you go after I left? Kim is really upset. Have you talked to her? I'm gonna see her in two minutes. Did she make you guys come look for me? Not exactly. We thought Simone had gotten to you. Oh, Jesus. The murder thing? Ugh. You guys are fucking perfect for each other. Are you back together yet? No. Well, you don't have to say it like I dislocated your finger. Well, you don't want to get back together, do you? God, no. You know what? I really wouldn't even be cheating if you guys got sexy again. 
Maybe not to you. Yeah, what the fuck, Alex? What? Yeah, Kim told us you cheat on her. I wasn't cheating on her. I just I disappear sometimes. Why? To be alone. Really? You can't tell Kim. She wouldn't understand. <laughs> it's better for her to think you're cheating on her? Yeah, or she would just think I didn't want to be around her, which is kind of true sometimes. Why don't you just talk to her? Morgan? What? You would rather think that your girlfriend is a murderer than have an actual conversation. You think she's a murderer too? Well, because you talked me into it. You talked me into it first. <sighs> I was... See, Jean, you always do this. You talk me into something, and then once I'm into it, you talk me out of it. And you know what? I'm over it. Thanks for the ride. No, oh, you're over it. Yeah, Jean, I'm over it. You know what? I'm over it. You're over it now that I'm over it. How about neither of us can be over it because we were never not over it? <laughs> you know what else I am? Annoying. Relieved. I'm relieved. OK, fine, Jean. I'm sure I won't show up dead anytime soon. You're a dick. Does nobody care that my life could be in danger? Call me when your head's out of your ass, dude. what you did. You should have talked to me first. Excuse me. Hi, hello. I'm behind you. Hi. Uh, sorry. Excuse me, is this the... Shit. You dropped it a few blocks ago. I mean, not that I've been following you. <laughs> Thanks for giving it to me. Oh, no, I am the one who should be thanking you for what you've given me. Your show, it, it got me through a really hard time. I, I recently lost a friend, like a really dear friend. I'm sorry. She was my mentor. And uh, we were really connected. She's the one who taught me how to be honest with myself. And Donna would always say, Celia? I'm Celia. <laughs> Hi, you're Morgan. Uh, she would say, Celia, leave me alone. You're too close. She sounds really nice. Yeah, oh, Sorry. she meant physically, not emotionally. I mean, she might have also meant emotionally. We will never know that. But um, we always used to uh, listen to your show together. I mean, we weren't together, but it felt like we were. And um, she loved that Azalea lady, the um, professor. Lila. Lila. Yeah, you were close. You think so? Oh, there was a connection. Do you know what time it is? Oh. That's what she used to say. Um, it is 2 p.m. I have to go. That's what she would always say next. I have to go. I'm and sorry. No, she just sorry about in a really friend. horrible way. It was a recycling truck, and uh, we we're all yelling behind the guy. We we're like, spin your wheels, man! Um, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, I'm actually going this way anyway. What's this episode about? Oh, it's, it's not for an episode. I just came to talk. You're not going to record it? I, I can if you want me to. Only if you want to. No, I'll, I'll do that.
Tell me about your lady stuff. Okay, well, you met Jean, my ex, unfortunately. She and I work so well together because we don't work so well together. She makes me feel like the person I am, and I don't like that person very much. So. And then there's Simone. Oh, la la, Simone. Simone is un nom mystérieux. <laughs> yeah. Simone makes me feel alive and present. She makes me feel like the person I want to be, even though. What, dear? I think she might be a murderer. Maybe this is a bad idea. Aren't you having a good time? It's not that, it's just... You have no idea how lonely I get being with women like these. All the simplicity really hurts my feelings. But you are not simple, Morgan, are you? I'm not. You're more like me. Mind if I tell you something private? I don't mind. Before, I told you love was the act of killing, but that's not true. It's the moment right before when they stop struggling. They succumb. The fear in their eyes, it shifts. And they fill up with something I can only describe as pure grace. It was the sweetest thing I've ever known. Maybe it was just a lack of oxygen. Shh. Quit your fighting. The fact is that you want to feel it too. So here's what you do. Gee. Holy shit. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I was just whiffering. This late? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comforts me. When I was little, my mom used to always wake up in the I need to talk to Jean. Oh. Okay, yeah. I don't. I thought she was with you. Why? Well, she left a while ago. She, uh, she got worried when she couldn't reach you on your phone, but then she told me that she saw on your calendar that you had a super clean shift with Simone, so she went there. To the co-op? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I made us a nice dinner and everything, you know, and I was hoping to catch some democracy now, but then I realized that the New York is a ton of She fell, she hit her head. We should call an ambulance. 
Yeah, I already did. Put that down. You look ridiculous. Stop. Stop. Leave her alone. Don't you want to help her? Give me that. Get back. What if I told you I did kill those people? Would that make you feel better? To have a way out? gone now. I know you didn't mean to hurt me, but you did. I still love you, Morgan. And I know that you're scared. Not. We can be happy. Please stop. Let's get fat and boring and argue about nothing. Let's finish each other's sentences. Wear each other's clothes. Let's be vulnerable together. some people. It was self-defense. <laughs> Come on, did you even open the case file? I mean, I flipped through. At the very least, I know she was threatened. No, she claims she was threatened. But she had injuries. Yeah, all proven to be self-inflicted. Look, are there parts of her story that I doubt? Sure. But you could say the same thing for the eyewitness accounts. Okay, no, I agree with you there. Those were all pretty unclear. But if you look at the evidence, which for some reason you're refusing to do. I'm not refusing, I've just been a little. Distracted, I know. I'm not claiming what she did was right. I'm just saying I believe her when she says she had no other choice. Yeah, and what I'm saying is that the facts back up the victim. There was no reason for self-defense. I think we should pull the listeners on this one. Ah, good idea. Join us next time to hear the results. I'm Morgan. And I'm Jean. And we are... Women, Women Who Kill. kill.
Thank you.